So it just occurred to me that I forgot to add the salt and forgot to show you how to add the salt today. If you don't see this until tomorrow or if you don't get to it, that's fine. We'll work with it. Being in the fridge should be okay. Uh, but if you can get to this tonight, that's, that would be great. We're going to need three things. Obviously your dough. You're going to need your salt. I believe if you measure it out, it's a teaspoon or eight grams, something like that. Uh, I can reconfirm with the uh, recipe. And you're also going to need a little bit of water. And the reason you need some water is just to keep it on your hands so that your hands don't uh, collect too much of the dough because it still is relatively sticky and we want to keep most of the dough or as much as we can in with the bulk of the batch. Keep in mind again that this is way more dough than you're working with. I'm working with four times yours. Um, with that said, I'm going to dip my hands in, get them a little wet, add my salt. And if I just let it sit on top of that, uh, on top of it there like that, it's never going to incorporate itself into the dough, so I need to work it in. What I'm going to use is the pincer method or pincher method, and basically I'm just bringing my forefinger and my thumb in like this, and I'm closing them together. And what's that? That's going to do after a couple of minutes is really help incorporate all of that salt into the dough. You can see how it kind of makes nice little rounds as it cuts the dough and separates it. Every now and again, I'll fold it over, and just continue to pinch it, pinch it. And if you feel like the dough is starting to stick, just dip your hands back into the water come back in and keep working the dough. So you're gonna do this for uh, maybe a minute or two. And if you get a chance to do this tonight, that would be perfect. If you don't, it won't be perfect, but it'll still work. Just a reminder for next time for me to make sure that we incorporate this step in the bulk fermentation. So I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll fold it one more time. And then you can just let, let that sit overnight. All right, and keep it in the fridge. Okay, that's all.